guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I'm sharing another a two page 12 by 12 Cricut scrapbook layout. And um, I've started with a piece of 12 by 12 black cardstock, and then 11 and a half by 11 and a half, like a um, it's not really wood grain, it looks more like I don't know, maybe like a bamboo or something, in the, or a box or something of that nature for the background. That's 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And we're going to start with my little sky border piece that I have cut at 11 and a half by 1.86. And I got this from the Cricut Cartridge Give a Hoot. It had another piece with it, and I just uh, deleted it off the way. I'm having some tape issues there with my ATG gun. Let me get this down here where I can see it. Put it right there. And then the next piece that I'm going to lay down is going to be my little grass border. And it's cut at 11 and a half by 3.79 and it comes from the Cricut Cartridge Ribbons and Rosettes. And I didn't put any up here because I'm going to put a layer behind it. And it goes in a page protector, so I'm not so worried about it not being completely glued down all the way. Just lining it up to the bottom. And then my next piece is also, I'm calling grass as well, but I think it's called a, a circle border or star border or something of that nature. And I'm going to put it right about there. I've cut this at 11 and a half by 1.97 and it comes from a Cricut cartridge from close to, to my heart. That's where you buy those from close to my heart cartridges you can only get from, um, oh shoot, is it Creative Memories? Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but it's one of theirs, close to my heart, and it's an art booking. It's from the art booking cartridge. Oh my goodness, if I can speak. And I'm just lining it up to the back, back there. And then right there is where I'm putting that one. And then my next image is a tree branch. It comes from the Cricut Cartridge Bloom. I've got it cut at 7.21 by 4.32. And I didn't cut out the little red berries. I used my Crystal Nouveau drops on those instead of the berries because I wanted some added dimension and depth. And I've got this popped up on uh, foam tape. I buy the Mega Rose rolls of foam tape from Amazon. I'm about halfway full uh, through that one. I use a lot of foam tape and it makes more sense to buy it that way. And it's a whole lot cheaper to buy it that way. You can find that on my Amazon storefront if you look in the description box below for my Amazon uh, crafty supply page. I think it's about uh, $35 and it lasts me a long time and I use it a lot. And I am going to pop it right up here, right like so. And then my next image is my little 
nappy time, sleepy time sloth that I've cut out and paper piece together and uh, I have put in some blue Nouveau drops to decorate his little sleeping sling <laughs> bag and he's a little three-toed sloth and on his for his little eyes I use black gems and instead of cutting out the little black strings that hold this into a tree or whatever I use some twine and my little sloth comes from the Cricut Cartridge Awesome Animals and I cut him at 5.06 by 5 inches and I am going to lay him down flat I taped my little um, strings on and I got a piece of tape sticking out there. I'm just going to trim off. And I'm going to put him right there. And I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue to put on my string, my twine. I created this layout because we recently was at a little zoo that had a rescued sloth and you got to go pet him and he was in a little box area that looks like the background of this paper and he was in a little um, sleeping sling like so and he was sleeping the whole time and that's inspired my layout but it could also you could also I think make it for a little uh, nap time for a baby or whatnot I did also cut out flies because there were lots of flies obviously you wouldn't use the flies <laughs> if you were doing it for a napping baby and my little flies I cut at one point one zero by one point zero nine inches and it comes from the Cricut cartridge more animals at silhouette and then I've got another fly that I'm going to put on here but I'm going to wait a moment because I want to get my title down I also want to get down my photo mat here real quick and my photo mat the black part is four and a half by four and a half and the pink part is four and a quarter by four and a quarter and it will hold a four by four photo I'm going to put my photo mat right about there now I'm doing two titles on this layout and my first one is on this page and it is titled nap time and nap obviously I cut all together and it is cut at 4.65 by 2.50 and it comes from the Cricut cartridge baby on board time I cut at 5.91 by 3.26 and it comes from the Cricut Cartridge Sophisticated and I'm going to put that right there is how I want it and I'm going to use some wet glue to glue that all down but I've got it lined up the way I want and what I'm doing is bringing in a piece of Glad Press and Seal and it's not real sticky right now because I've used it so often so we'll see if I can get it to stick. Hopefully it's sticky enough at this point. Just press it in real good and I'm doing it real good because I know mine's not is losing it sticky and I'll have to use another piece. Now I'm just going to pull this up and there we go. I'm going to flip 
flip it over. Ooh, my notes on my sizes <laughs> fell down. And I'm just going to pop some wet glue. And that looks plenty enough glue. Actually, I need to put a little bit more over here. It's drying too fast. Now I'm going to line it back up on my layout. There we go. Just going to press it down for a few minutes give it time for that glue to adhere to the cardstock underneath and now I'm going to start peeling it away slowly there we go. Now it's time to throw this away. <laughs> I don't need that anymore. And now I'm going to get my other wet glue out of here and put down my other little fly. put him right there. Press this down. So that finishes this side of my layout. The left side. So let's take this one out of the way and bring in my next side. Let me clean up my mess here for a second. I have done this side exactly the same way. I just have glued down the background pieces at this point. Now, I have another title, like I said, that I'm going to put on here, and it's called Love and Life because Good Naps is all about love and life, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and then I've got two more photo mats as well. And I'm going to try to bring those over. Again, these hold a 4x4 four four photo as well. And I'm going to put down my photo mats first. And my um, Love and Life is cut at 8.74 by 2.77. And it comes from the Cricut cartridge when I was a kid. Okay, and then I'm going to lay this down flat as well.
and I'm not going all the way to the bottom because it's going to come over my photo mat and I want to be able to stick my photos under there. And there we go. Now my next images are some hibiscus flowers that I cut out and they're cut at 2.32 by 2.14. These also come from a close to my heart Cricut cartridge titled uh, Flower Market. And I am going to put two of these down flat. And I have paper pieced all of my images together today for this layout. I did not do any print and cut. Sometimes I really like print and cut, and other times I don't. I'm going to put that one right about there, and then this one I have popped up on some foam tape. put it right here and I learned that sloth's favorite treat is a hibiscus flower <laughs> so that was fun to learn now my next image is my cute little sloth that's in a bundle of palm leaves and hibiscus flowers and the center of my little hibiscus flowers I did use my Nouveau drops he is paper pieced together and then I used a combination of regular cardstock and um, mulberry paper on him and I think he turned out so cute I cut him all together as you see him and he's cut at 5.60 by 5.35 and he is actually a cut file that comes from treasure box designs and I believe he's called little slowpoke is his name and I will leave a link to where to purchase him at in the description box below if you're interested in having him and I'm just gonna put I popped up part of him on foam tape and then parts on uh, the other parts I'm just wet gluing down and I just realized I don't want to, the top layer of his head I didn't want to take off that backing so I'm going to use my embossing buddy and just tap it on that one because it's going to come over my photo mat and that'll take away all the sticky and I'm going to put him right here and then find and you can see it slips, you can slip your photo in there really easily now. And then I have three more little flies that I'll place down on this side as well. Put that one there. right there and then let me see I'm gonna put that one there and I think it turned out really cute I got you know muted colors and bright colors going on and I think it turned out really cute and I and I like I like him I like it a lot I hope you guys do too so thanks for spending a little time with me today I really appreciate it cheers